another view can be just separated. You adjust the view to see those that you haven't contacted in a certain time, uh, amount of days. But you know, it's not only about the deals or about the clients that you are currently talking. So it means that oh, I haven't I haven't heard from him for three days. No, maybe you are in customer success team as we are. And basically we need to um, kind of support our clients throughout their journey with us. And uh, we also, well, we work with all of the clients, but if we're talking about those that actually bought the license from us, so we need to make sure that we follow up with them like every six months or every three months, um, just to see how the performance is, right? Um, to maintain the health. So also, you can set it up in the filter. We do that. Let's talk more about your pipeline and about not forgetting to follow up on anyone. So uh, let's find those guys that haven't been contacted for a long time. This is again what Anastasia already mentioned. Um, in NetHunt, we have statistical fields. This is not something that you will see right away if you install the system, but this is something you can set up yourself. Um, there are available fields. Uh, if you don't have them, you just go to settings. This is, by the way, where you would go about any customization, any additional folder, field. I'm telling you just like the place, <laughs> the first place to go when you install the system, this is where you would customize everything. It's settings, folder field management. Uh, we'll do companies, for example. And these are all of your fields that are already there that you can customize. So we go ahead and add field, statistics field. And there are a lot of types of statistics. So this is something that NetHunt does automatically. You don't need to sit and count for how many days, you know, somebody was contacted. You go ahead and you set up a field you need. There are multiple options here, starting from the first email received, last email received, total email count, last, com last comment, total calendar events, last interaction date, things like that. You decide what to count as an interaction and the, the field starts calculating on its own. So I already have it. I already put in some test data to show you how this looks, but this is how you would go about adding this field or anything else, the city field that we already looked at, any other field that you don't see and would like to have. So we go to our company's folder and we are looking for our last contact date field. And there are again, loads of options. If you can't find the perfect one, like for example, this one says less than seven days, but we want to pull something that's less than two days. You can do two weeks, you can do days, specific date, anything that, that you pretty much need. So here we have all of the guys that haven't been contacted for two days in our case, but it can be more. And we also save this one. We can do a stage. We can do, let's do status, by the way. That's, that's always a nice one. I always like the status because it gives you all of the information about obviously, like in this case, these six leads, six leads, we forgot about them. So we need to follow up. And those are, I don't know, just clients contacting, we're already in touch with them or something. So um, we save this view, uh, not contacted for two days. You can call it something different and it will be just mine all for me, just my personal view. Uh, so this is, this is how we see this information. Um, then if you see from here, again, it gives you loads of info. If you see that something, someone was not contacted for quite some time, you can go ahead and assign tasks to your team members. You can send these people like a mass campaign, depending on you know uh, what you would like to do right here, right from the view. Set yourself a task not to forget to check it, but that's it. That's our view and you can do yours.